Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to join us today on our yoga mat. Today I'm going to do a flow that is to help you wind down your busy, stressful day. So if you have had a busy working day or whatever that is happening in your life, you just needed a moment to cool down, to relax your muscles and release your mind. This might be a good choice. And uh, yeah, so let's all meet on our mat and let's start this beautiful relaxing flow, shall we? We start seated at the center of our mat in the easy sitting pose just to Start to get all of your thoughts out of your mind. You know, you might be having a lot of things in your mind going on. Just let them out. This is the moment for yourself on your mat and just enjoy the next few minutes. This flow is going to bring you and just to relax your mind. Gather your attentions in words and just focus on your own temple. This is your temple, this is your body, this is your home. Take a big inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, interlace the fingers and palms facing up and bring it to the right. Side stretch on the left side and Keep, keep the left shoulders open so that you can gaze through your elbow, gaze through your arm, arms towards the sky. And for a little bit stronger feeling, you can put your right hand down and press through your right hand and um, rooting down through your left sit bone and stretch a little bit more. Make sure both sit bones are grounded on the mat. And inhale, we come back to center. Exhale, interlace the hands, we'll go to the left. Left hand down for more intense stretch on the right side. Wow, I, I feel the sound like shining on my entire right side of the body. It's so good. Inhale back to center and exhale, twist to the right. Left hand on top of the right knee and externally rotate your right shoulder. Gaze towards the right side or over the right shoulder. Come back to center, inhale, exhale, twist towards the left. <sighs> Now we come back to center and we come on all fours, tabletop. Starting by a little bit of cat and cows, and then we move into a child's pose to downward facing flow. <sighs> Inhale, tuck the tailbones, open the heart, dip the belly button into the floor and exhale, curl. Open up the shoulder blades, chin to the chest. Two more rounds. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Now this time, inhale, we open and we press back. Exhale to a child's pose and inhale. Round up into plank and exhale, we bring the hips back. So it's like you come into a plank, inhale, exhale, bring the knee down and bring the hips back to the heels. Keep the knees, uh, uh, toes tucked, inhale, round up, knees off the floor, plank and 
exhale push back downward facing dog we'll do a few rounds like this at your own pace inhale plank knee down exhale push back into child's pose inhale round up knees off the floor and push back downward facing dog three more rounds like this inhale plank and knee down push back into a child's pose <sighs> come into a downward facing dog every time you come into a downward facing dog you feel like your body is more relaxed and your muscles are more open and your flexibility increase now we come into a last round of this flow this is a great whole body spinal relaxing flow just to stretch out the whole body sometimes if you don't have time it's even beneficial just to do this flows a few rounds doesn't even take a few minutes you know like five minutes tops then you feel much more flexible <laughs> afterwards now we come into a downward facing dog inhale lift your right leg up and press down through your left foot down to the mat and open three-legged dog exhale bring knee to the chest and right foot in between the hands open up inhale hands still on the mat just open your heart and from here see if you can keep micro bend your left knee and push through your right foot into the mat lift your body up into a high lunge arms lifted shoulder blades pinched together and shoulders away from the ears gaze forward high lunge pose inhale exhale parallel the arms forward and like open like archer you open your right arm to the side and open your body towards the left but keep the legs the feet in the lunge position so it's like kind of like a variated uh, warrior too and wing the middle of the arms all the way to press the left hand down to the mat right hand lift twist to the right revolved lunge pose keep the left knee uh, straightened and right knee bent and bring the right hand in between the right foot push the right foot a little bit to the edge of the mat we'll come into a lizard pose keep the left knee off the floor open up the hips lengthen the hip flexor you can move back and forth like just to feel the differences We'll come into a wide leg forward fold come to the center of our mat big inhale halfway lift exhale fold deeper you can keep the arms underneath your gaze or you can hold at your both ankles and just pointing your crown of your head down towards the mat and entirely open your back side of the legs hips pointing towards the sky <sighs> big inhale exhale we pivot towards the back of our mat pointing both um, feet towards the back of our mat like a lunge pose so we'll do it on the other side open your heart no lunge runner's lunge and exhale micro bend the right knee and push through the left foot so that you lift your body up into a high lunge arms up 
keep the lower body in this stance and parallel the arm inhale exhale archer like you open the bow <laughs> open towards the right side keep the body open towards the right side and windmill the arms press the right hand down and left hand up lengthen the right knee revolved lunge pose gaze towards gaze at the right and the left fingertips or gaze at the right side of our mat we mail the left hand down and push the left foot to the edge low lunge um sorry lizard waist the knee right knee off the floor a little bit back and forth just to feel any muscle um any, you know like we tend to stay in the pose but if you move side to side or back and forth you feel the differences that it creates we come into a wild leg forward for the once again and this time we'll just uh, come into a twist inhale halfway lift exhale we'll just fold our body onto the left leg <sighs> try to reach your forehead towards your left shin and both of your uh, hands holding the left ankle or left foot <sighs> Inhale back to center. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold towards the right foot. Keep your weight evenly distributed um, on your foot, on your both feet, even if you are folding towards the right side. You can feel the edge of your left foot also printing down through the mat. And we pivot our body to face forward once again. Low lunge. Rounders lunge. And from here, exhale, bring the left foot to meet the right. A little bit wider than hip distance. We'll come into a this slightly widened stance forward fold. Hold the opposite of each elbow, just dangle here. I really like the inverted position set to let the blood flow run back to our brain and it's a very good way to clear our head. <sighs> let out the negativities of your brain, you know, like the bad things, the bad thoughts, the the, the thoughts that trouble you, you know, um, let the blood go back to your brain, let the oxygen run through your brain, and let the bad stuff out. And slowly, uh, heels in, toes out, we come into a yoga, yogi squat, malasana. Bring the tailbone, the sit bone down towards the mat and open the knees to the side. Pushing through your elbows, hands together at heart center. Bring the crown of the head all the way, lift it towards the sky. Five rounds of breath in and out here. Your last breath in. Exhale, lift your hips once again, bring the hands on the mat, we, we walk back our feet, come into a plank pose, and from here, exhale, gently bring your body down to the mat, like we do Chaturanga, but we bring our body all the way down to the mat, and move the hands a little, a few inches in front of your face, and a little bit wider than sh your shoulders to bring the elbows in and just push through the ground lift the chest up variation of cobra a few rounds like this 
wave motion. Inhale, open. Close your elbows towards your torso and bring it out. Push it back down. Push it back up. And bring it down and exhale. This time we relax our arms. Extend your right arms out like T shape and bring your left hand closer to your chest. Bend your left knee and bring your left foot all the way to the outside of our right side. Scorpion pose. We can also have some shoulder stretch here. Every time when I do a scorpion pose, I feel like, you know, this twisting motion of the spine, it's, it's generating some kind of force. So I can hear some cracks of my bones and I feel, and afterwards I feel very relaxed, you know, like my body is may it's like creating more space in this area especially in this lower abdomen area where it's always very tight and the hips as well so the scorpion pose are great at least for me to opening up this area a little bit more create more space and come back to center We'll do it on the other side. Open the left arm all the way to shape and press down through the right hand next to your chest. Bend the right knee, push the floor away and open your body to the side to face the side and bring the right foot all the way back behind your left knee. Right knee pointing towards the sky and feel the stretch also on your left shoulder. Next, you come back to center and push yourself once again in the high cobra. Upward, with upward facing or high cobra. I <laughs> feel like I cannot talk. And gently push your hips back to meet your heels, knees open, wide legged for uh, child's pose. <clears throat> Three rounds of breaths here. Counter pose to those back bends. Child's pose is a great pose. Mm, welcome Nini to join us. <laughs> and gently push yourself to come into a kneeling position. Close your knees and stay in this kneeling position. For a moment and bring your hips down on either side of your feet and push your feet out in front of you. Staff pose. We bring the right foot to the inside of your left side, to the root of your left side, the heel of your right foot to the root of your left side, and open the right knee to the side. Keep the left uh, leg straightened and square and the toes facing up. Don't like flare it out or bring it inward, just keep it square and 90 degrees. And we face our body a little bit towards the left leg, Take a big inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hips. See how far you can go down. Just stay there at the edge where you cannot go down anymore and feel, just feel the hamstring stretch and lower back. 
opening. However, for those of you who can hold the, the sole of your left foot and just bring your shin, your forehead down to your shin. Close up, open up your left side of your torso so that you feel lengthening of your left side of the torso and shortening on your right side of the torso so that your body are more facing the left leg. Inhale gently, push yourself to sit up and close your right knee with the help of your right hand and bring the right foot outside of your left knee. From here, lift yourself up, and lift your arms up and twist towards the right. Bring the left elbow outside of your right knee and twist towards the right gaze over the right shoulder. left leg still facing up and exhale come back to center we'll do it on the other side bring the left sole of the feet to the inside of your right leg right side square the right leg and toes pointing up to the sky left knee open Sit yourself a little bit facing to your right leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Stay at a point where you cannot go down anymore. Don't force yourself. However, for those of you who can, go down a little bit more with the support of your arms and see if you can close down your left side and open up your right make sure both sit bones are grounded onto the mat and gently lift yourself up back up use the help of your left hand and bring your right Foot, uh, left foot outside of your right knee. Keep the right leg facing up, toes facing up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist towards the left. Right elbow outside of your left knee. Gaze back. Hmm. release and we come to lay on our back we're opening our frontier to the sky bring the feet closer to the glutes hip distance wide hands next to our hips and we take a big inhale Exhale, lift the hips off the floor and keep the knees in towards each other and pinch the glutes muscles. Chin towards the chest, tuck the chin in. And exhale, relax. Bring the hip down. Keep the knees bent. We lift the right foot off the floor and bring the left, right ankle on top of your left knee. Recline pigeon pose and open your right knee out away from your body for more intense feeling stretch. Bring the left knee in towards the chest. Keep the right toes pointing. flexing sorry and see if you can bring the 
right and left shin a little bit closer to the chest and keep the right knee open. Gently bring the left foot down to the mat. Keep the same structure, architecture of your legs and bring them, like fold them down all the way to the left. Open yourself towards the right and gaze over towards the right. See, just continue pulling your right knee away from your body. Can hold your right ankle or shin with your left hand. So the feeling is more, the stretch is more intense, especially on the outer side of your right glute. Gently come back to center. We come to the other side. Bring the right foot down and left ankle on top of your right knee. Open the left knee out towards the side and bring the shin to the chest. Flex, keep the same structure of the legs and bring it all the way down to the right. Open yourself towards the left, your upper body, your hand, your gaze, and hold with your right hand of your left ankle or shin. And continue open your left knee away from the chest. We come back to center. If you feel like a little bit of opening of both hips, bring the soles of the feet together and open the knees to the side. We climb the butterfly, supine buttakasana. Hands on top of your belly or one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. This is the last pose of our winding down flow. You can choose to stay here or come into a Shavasana and just completely let your body rest and relax and melt into this flow. We'll stay in this Shavasana for a minute or so, but you can also continue in this Shavasana and have a little nap. Doesn't harm. <laughs> And for those of you who wish to finish this flow with me, just gently deepen your breaths, bringing your tensions back into your body. Move your fingers, touch your body gently. And come to the side of your body, bend the knees, and push yourself away from the floor just sit yourself up back into the center of our mat
Slowly blink your eyes open if they're not open. Big inhale in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And relax your shoulders as well. Thank you so much for being with us. I mean, they're finally back into my video. <laughs> they're always back in my video. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this flow. And thank yourself for taking out this time to get your body on the mat to enjoy a little bit of, a little bit of joy of the day. Take a moment to give a little therapeutic moment to your own body. We have to thank our body every day, you know. Doesn't matter what you do, like little massage, little meditation, a little UV flow, or just simply take a little bit time off your daily chores and things and just to bring your attention in and focus on yourself on what your body wants, what your mind wants. A little bit of self-care, self-love every day. Mm. Thank you so much for being with us today and I hope you enjoy this flow. I'll bring more beautiful flows and I hope you are following me for my future flows and ventures with my babies. <laughs> Namaste.